is devastated by this crisis are worried the fight against addiction could get a lot tougher if the American Health Care Act is passed in its current form. As our Ed Riley reports, parents who have lost loved ones to drug abuse are sending a strong message to Congress. Between suicide and overdoses, we lose over 95,000 people a year in this country. Avi Israel is often seen as the face of those fighting for better addiction treatment. But what you don't see are the many trips he makes to the cemetery. His son Michael committed suicide after becoming addicted to doctor prescribed painkillers. Paralyzing um, every day. For Cheryl Plasek, Mother's Day was spent at her son's grave. 28-year-old Daniel also took his own life because of his addiction to opioids. I mean, he was crying. He did not want to be addicted. I know that for a fact. Mary Jo Alessi's son died from an opioid overdose in 2005. I hope no one else has to go through this. And I don't think many people understand that haven't lost a child. All of these parents are now part of an effort to send the U.S. Senate a message that health care reform needs to include addiction treatment. Using online petitions and letters like these, the parents are reaching out across the nation for signatures. They fear the American Health Care Act will make it harder for people to get treatment because the legislation will cut Medicaid and phase out parity rules for existing conditions. It's hard enough to get treatment as it is right now will not be able to get any treatment under this new law. Supporters of the legislation like Congressman Chris Collins say he is confident that New Yorkers will continue to have access to opioid addiction treatment under the legislation. But these parents worry that the wrong changes to health care will mean more parents visiting their children in a graveyard. Now, the parents tell me they are also looking at the possibility of organizing a trip to Washington, D.C., so they can meet with the senators and tell them their stories in person. Live in the newsroom, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Ed.